An oblate is a person who is seeking God in everyday life. It's a way of getting closer to God. First and foremost, I think, it, it's about prayer. Being an oblate has changed my life. It has helped me become more rooted in God. An oblate is a person who is spiritually connected to a monastery. In our case, it's the St. Margaret of Arch Abbey in Indiana. Even though they're not uh, called to, um, to live as a monastic uh, within the walls of the monastery, um, they feel called to share in the life of that monastery and following uh, the rule in their daily life as far as they are able. The vocation of being an oblate has changed the way I uh, approach every aspect of my life. I feel more closer to God. It's made it possible for me to have a greater realization of God's blessings and grace. My life has changed in that I realize that it's a continual conversion process. As an oblate, we have some, uh, some duties and uh, some commitments. Praying the Liturgy of the Hours is something that um, organizes my day. Prayer starts the day, ends the day, and it's just that rhythm that I need every day. I pray with the monks at least three times a day. I'm in concert with them, even though I'm not there. The rule of Benedict is very basic. He calls it the rule for beginners. The rule serves as a call to all men and women to listen to the voice of God in whatever circumstances they find themselves. I am following the discipline of reading a portion of it every day as monks do. The holy rule of St. Benedict is uh, my way of getting closer to God. One of the things that I try to do every day is to do Lexio Divina, the Benedictine style of reading the Bible. That affects my prayer life and my understanding of the scriptures. Lexio Divina prompts a person to slow down, take your time, let the message sink in, and not tear through the material. I've become more involved. I'm in our parish, I'm the coordinator for the uh, perpetual adoration. Being a Benedictine oblate has helped in my parish also because it has led me to be a more service in my parish as a Eucharistic minister, as a participant in Bible study. What oblation has taught me is to, I like to call it living in the divine presence. It's a practice of Christian spirituality. Uh, it, it keeps you active every day. You read and you study every single day. If you're reading, if you're attending the sacraments or staying faithful to the, your tradition of your religion, if you're reading the Holy Rule, if you're praying the Liturgy of the Hours, you are bound to become more aware of the presence of God in your life. Oblates are connected to a particular monastic community. There's no international group of oblates or even national group of oblates. I am an oblate of St. Meinrad Arch Abbey, and so I draw my strength and inspiration from this community. The monastery offers the oblates a chance to step outside of their ordinary daily lives, a chance to visit St. Meinrad, to partake in the peace of the place. When I walk onto that property, all of a sudden there's peace, and um, and everybody there is received as Christ. And so it's, it's a little bit of heaven. We particularly enjoy um, the season changes of the environment, but most of all, the liturgy that we experience when we come here on the hill. It had a sense of timelessness. It's a very unique place. It's so different from a regular church. Probably the monastery supports the oblates principally by remembering them in prayer. They're always there to give me support and give me friendship. Um, they're always there to pray for me. The monastic community at Samhain 
uh, give us the support, the guidance, also the direction, so we can uh, fulfill our oblate uh, duties. I really enjoy uh, the opportunity of uh, uh, taking advantage of some spiritual direction from the monks and, and uh, having a time to just share with, uh, with them. The monastic community here um, really has taught me about hospitality. Um, they have been my mentors. They have been an extended family for me. You can be an oblate just all by yourself that only has the larger community here on the hill. Or you can be an oblate that's a member of a chapter. We are part of the community of the Lancaster chapter. We pray for one another, we care about one another, uh, we love one another. We meet uh, every month uh, in the fall and in, in the winter, and so we're able to get together and encourage each other and establish a relationship and have some fellowship as well. Well, they say the uh, family that prays together stays together. And our families benefit, both my wife and I are oblates, and our families benefit it in that uh, we do pray the Liturgy of the Hours together every day. Relationship with God is foundation for our lives. And I really do feel that when we pray together, life is easier, our family life is easier. Oblate uh, involvement has increased my, my sense of fairness of, uh, in, in my business life. I see the things outside in a different way with more kindness, with more sentiment, and always God in front of me. You get more relaxed, I think. You don't pay attention to worldly things, and you just take things as they come. Without being prideful, I think it's made a better person of me. I would recommend it because it has brought me so much happiness and love, and I've met many wonderful friends. And I feel spiritually it would help anyone who would become an oblate, especially of St. Minor. The values of the rule have universal appeal. And so people who are not Roman Catholic find those values applicable to their own lives, and they then become part of the oblate community for St. Minor. They've helped me become a better Methodist and a better Christian. Do you wish to be enrolled as an oblate novice of St. Mindred Arch Abbey? The investiture is a time where you, you promise to try to search for God the best you can, to learn about St. Benedict and the rule and how it applies to your daily life. It is a time of searching. Accept this little rule for beginners and listen carefully to the Master's instruction. After you've done that for a year, you then ask to become an oblate. And that's when you go through your final oblation. Will you strive to be stable of heart, faithful to the spirit of the monastic life, and obedient to God's will? To me, it's edifying to see that people take their faith so seriously. They don't have to be monks to live out those values. Benedict has taught me that ordinary people are called to holiness. The thing that attracts me most to the Benedictine spirituality is the ability to come together in prayer, to be able to study on a daily basis, to get into God's Word, and to just be able to be in this community that is attractive. And I think I would ask anybody to do that. I would also recommend it just because of the wonderful nature of uh, Benedictine spirituality for its balance, um, its primacy on, on, on prayer and seeking after God, that I think it would be, to almost anyone, a wonderful help in living a Christian life. Someone who is interested in becoming an oblate at St. Mindred should contact the oblate director.